does that, I mean, these speeds are so, hard, so much higher than we can comprehend. Our current understanding of gravity is based on the general theory of relativity. It was developed when Albert Einstein realized that a man in the emptiness of space would not be able to detect whether he was falling under gravity. Einstein called this a happy idea. But in 1960, five years after Einstein's death, Joe Kittinger made the idea a reality. He was part of a US Air Force team studying the effects of high altitude on the human body. He never achieved the fame of Yuri Gagarin or Neil Armstrong. But to all intents and purposes, Joe Kittinger was the first man in space. Three hours after liftoff, his balloon was 30 kilometers above the Earth, three times higher than a jet airliner. And then, carrying a film camera, Kittinger did something amazing. He jumped. High above the clouds in the incredibly thin air, Kittinger had no sense of falling. He had to look back up at the receding balloon. But he was actually accelerating to 990 kilometers per hour. Only after decelerating in the thicker air lower down did he open his parachute. Kittinger was the first man to reach the speed of sound without an aircraft. <laughs> 